What's up, you guys? I am Nia. Welcome back to my channel. We we outside with it today. I love being outside. It's hot, but um, it's getting better. But I wanted to talk to y'all about that. Um, at, come on. This is why I don't be doing the outside. See. Um, I want to talk to y'all about that Ashley Lockhart um situation. If y'all ain't heard about it, it was basically a girl from. All right. Um. So yeah, y'all, I wanted to talk to y'all about the Ashley Lockhart situation because that thing, I mean, and there's so many situations like hers that happen. If y'all have ever heard about it, it was basically this beautiful young black girl. Wow, she was, she was uh, 32 um, and she had six kids by the same man. And, that, and, it, and the funny thing is they caught it on video. Him, um, he stabbed her up 18 times in her van. Like, um, they, he stabbed her up 18 times in her van and then left the 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 knife in her face like and then you saw him in the video like walking to the van and doing the act it just it's just really crazy to me but they basically said that he was trying to control her um he was mad he couldn't control her or she cheated or something like that that's why ladies be careful with seeking get back on these dudes because some of these dudes especially when you have babies with them they really think that they own you like i mean they really be possessive and they really feel like they own you and sometimes we take we don't take it serious and we be like um he would never do that to me like look at how many girls who are now dead how many moms who are now dead at the hands of their baby daddies husbands wives i mean not wives husbands um y'all know that and you would you would never think that he would do that to you it's like we, of course we always think that they could never do that we'd be like okay we got into a fight we always do this but he would never like do nothing like that until he until it happens so just don't ever think that it can't be you because it can be you when and now when i went, went on a girl page and seen like how he proposed to her and a lot like a lot of these dudes do it'd be like last last chance proposals it'd be that shut you up proposal that that hush you up proposal that trying to save the relationship proposal because you didn't fucked up so bad now it's like okay let me give her let me finally give her what she want a, a true commitment and giving the ring don't change how they actually even act towards you so is it truly a commitment no you're just trying to shut me up with a ring and then you want to keep pursuing doing the same thing you were doing before the engagement and even just looking at that video of the engagement, you could just tell she was just so uncomfortable. Like, um, I forgot what her Instagram name was. I was just looking at it yesterday, but it's just sad. It's just so sad. Like her, her girls, she has six beautiful girls and they had a, 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 a new baby. Like baby wasn't even one years old yet. And it just sad as me like, damn, you gave this man six kids and this is how he do you. We really be giving these men blessings blessing them with blessings the whole time to to them is just pawns like if nobody ever talks about that they always act like it's the bitter baby mamas the bitter baby mama club but nobody ever talks about bitter baby daddies and how that they literally trap us on purpose a lot of these guys really do be trapping us because they're like okay that's the only way i can get her you they already know it's harder for you to leave if i, if I have a kid with you because for one you don't want to be worried about what everybody want to say about you being a single mother and all of this so you want that image you want that man anyway because a lot of times we do care about him we do love him we want to make it work and they know if i have a kid with you i'm definitely going to try to make it work just like with me when i have kids with these dudes i try to make it work until it just can't work like sometimes it just can't work and you know looking at these other situations just remind me why i had to get away because my second baby daddy he would like you was plotting against me bro like that's why you got to pay, pay attention to what people say just as much as their actions because sometimes it's just certain stuff you don't say even if you playing it's like like what like like you got to be paying attention to that stuff because if given the right opportunity like that dude uh, given the right right opportunity you will set me up you will try to kill me we'll we'll be laughing and playing thinking everything good and here you come boom ready to take me out like these zoos really be fight, fighting battles um fighting demons like i said in that last video like they really do one minute they might appear good the next minute they that they just take off and go to a different dimension and just be on some other stuff and just get the same stuff their behavior so 
it just saddens me that, that now six of them beautiful little girls don't have a mom and now their dad is locked up so now it's like you now both of us is gone now my our kids have no parents and that's the thing with these narcissists guys they, they their obsession be so much more with the baby mom like they be really that obsessed with us that possessive over controlling us that they don't even care how it's gonna affect the kids they just want what they want with us like it's literally a control tactic a lot of times they having these putting these babies on us and that's why they nobody talks about this they only talk about us it's always the women's fault but it's never the man's fault you know and we both play a part in it of course because a lot of times we keep going back when we know what we know and we we just keep getting sucked in with the manipulation tactics that they use because they such con artists they can like i said in that last video with the mouthpiece they can tell you some stuff with the mouthpiece and make you believe that they'll change make you believe that they'll do better and then they actually do put on a front for a couple days maybe a week maybe a month and then it's boom back to back to that demonic stuff you got going on so it is very interesting because sometimes we really be having hope and then us being so hopeful as women look what it leads us to it leads us to destruction literally it just sad to me to see that six she had six beautiful girls and now they have no mother and all she was like looking on her page she really loved her girls by like, just how i feel like we be loving our children and we be trying to keep the family together so many of us try to keep the family together and then look what happens in the in the process you know and a lot of these things definitely use the kids to control us because they figured and then they'll keep dropping putting babies on you like people kept saying well why would she have six babies with him because a lot of times these dudes be keep on getting you pregnant and yes we need to take accountability too because stop letting them get on birth control but some women will get beat if they get on birth control you will you take a plan b they really be saying stuff about us taking the plan b's and stuff like and all of that like my second baby daddy after this i'm like all right like you nigga you ain't even stepped up enough for this one you haven't even stepped up for us as a unit but this one you keep talking about trying to get me pregnant again i that's why i'm like i ain't having no more sex with you bruh nothing it's giving nothing and i shouldn't and i didn't want to get back on birth control so i was like i'm just not gonna i'm just not gonna have sex with you i mean it's just that simple i'm not even gonna have no sex with you so you know but for you to keep on saying you want to keep me barefoot like that's what they like to say and i keep you barefoot and pregnant because the more kids i put on you the less you can focus on what i'm doing because you're so focused on the kids the less likely you are to leave because the less likely another man is going to really want to come in and step up in that role with having with you having kids with another man because you know how these dudes be a lot of times they don't want to take on that responsibility of truly of, of some other man's child like you know you got some good ones that do step up but you know the average man they don't really want to do that they want to create their own family they want to create their own blood like which is understandable but the men know that because the men know the uh, the mind of other men they play on that with us that's why they do all of this stuff telling us oh you're gonna die alone no man is gonna want you with all those kids no they they do this stuff strategically to keep you coming back to them they do this stuff on purpose so and it's just interesting like to see that be like shoot and they sit here no man's gonna want you with all these kids and then when they see you do get another man now they're like oh how dare you get another man how dare you cheat on me that's why i had to just it's it just watching that girl's story and just it made me just reflect back on my own situation you know with both my baby dads especially that second one like because the way his mind is that's why every time i be trying to send him updates of the pictures or send updates of her walking and stuff but it's like every time you go back into doing that you get to blowing me up again as soon as i try to take you off block it's like you you he really thinks he own me like these dudes really be thinking they own you when you have their babies like i just feel like that's the worst thing you really can give a man is having baby like life be so much better until you had that man baby because they really think they own you like you're mine like the stuff that my baby daddy was saying that second one more so it's like damn do you really think you own me you you don't own me just like his baby she thinks she owned me too i'd be like dang but she put spells on her or something to be possessive like him like just the things that he would say and do and even still now with us being miles and miles away and just how soon as you, I give you an inch, you take a mile. Like, damn, you just don't respect my boundaries at all. That's why with some people, you just got to cut them flat. 
It ain't no inching with them because they don't respect that. Because they like, whatever, girl. I got your, you got my baby. You got my baby. So, yeah, y'all, it's really, it's really that serious. And we gotta, we gotta truly protect ourselves because especially as black women, y'all already know how it is out here for us. <laughs> it, we all, it's just us against everybody else. Everybody be against us. Um, everybody is in the business of taking us down and humbling us like we haven't been through enough as it is, but they really be trying to humble us, y'all. So just be very wary and be very careful with these dudes. Be careful because their tactic, tactics these days is to keep us stuck. Like literally keep you barefoot, pregnant, in the house. Like he had the audacity to say to me, why, what parent needs a break? Like nigga, you get all them breaks, but I can't have a break. Like, I'm like, what? Like you really be still saying this shit. It's just like after a month of uh, me taking your daughter away, it's like, you're still not, it's like nothing is still clicking for you. And it just made me realize like, bro, you are demonically possessed. And it's like, nothing is truly, you just want what you want. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter how I feel. You want what you want. Like a narcissist does. They want what they want. Why do you got all those Oreos? Like, you know, and it just saddens me that my baby can't even have her daddy because the nigga's really more obsessed with you use her as a pawn for me. It's not like you really, like, I mean, and it's not even like he... He, he loves his daughter, I feel like, you know, because he was, when we was living in Maryland, he was definitely hands-on with her, you know, he would definitely get up in the middle of the night with me, like, all of that stuff, like, he definitely was that, but as soon as I ain't messing with you, this is how they be, they, it's like, we, I mean, we really are two peas in the pod, we are, we are, we're one, but they really treat it as such, and when they don't get what they want with you, then they want to use the baby as a pawn. Some of them, if you won't have no sex with them, they don't want to deal with the kid either. They don't want to support the kid either. Some of them is like, some of them is like, um, oh, it's, so they make it seem like it's about the baby, but really it's about you. Because if it's about your baby, why every time you call, why are you all worried about what I'm doing? Why are you worried about if I got a nigga around? Why are you worried about those things? And it's because they be literally using the babies as, um, eyes like a way for them to spy i mean act like i'm checking on my kid so i can really see what's going on in her background like like somebody's stupid and then when you limit the interaction now you got all this extra stuff to say about me and i'm doing this and i'm doing that because i don't want to talk to you i don't want you in my business like and then just be a lot of that with them these narcissists y'all just be very wary of them and like you gotta just pay attention to the mind games pay attention to the patterns like i said in that last video because you can you can tell a lot man Get off my baby face. That bug on my baby. That bug on that baby trying to suck the baby blood. Um. So yeah, y'all. Like I was saying, it's just, it's very interesting how they do. Um. Be careful. They really use the babies as pawns. Like. I just, I just can't be believing it. And it's like sometimes I just keep thinking back on stuff and I'm like, damn, this is really what it is. Like, I just be like, you still won't change. Like, you still, but we be so hopeful. That's what I'm saying. We be so hopeful that, okay, maybe this will, maybe this will click for you. And it's still not clicking. What's well, not clicking, Steven? <laughs> it still don't be clicking for them. She get me all messy, like the bug gonna bite my hand like that. That's why I do not do the outside. It's like I love the outside, but I don't mind the outside sometimes. But yeah, y'all, that's my little spill on that. Like we ain't the only ones that be using kids as pawns. These niggas be using kids as pawns too, but nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about them. Nobody talks about the better baby daddies. Nobody talks about the better baby daddies. And how soon as you don't want to give them no cat, soon as you don't want like, soon as you don't want to rock with them like that, they take it out on a the kid, they use the kids, like, nobody talks about that, they only talk about us, 
act like we just want them doing it. No, they be trying to control us using these children. Like, I can go down the whole laundry with the things that they do and say. It just be like, bruh, are you here for the kid? Even when my son, my first one, when you came, he came down here for Father's Day. It's like, bruh, why are you begging me to go out with y'all? I don't want to go out with y'all. Why you can't just come for your child? I don't have to hang out with you guys. Like, now you mad. Then all of a sudden it's tension again. Now we got tension again. Because they just be thinking when, when they can't control us and manipulate us how they once used to. Them same little things he used to do before. That shit don't work no more. You can't get me no more. The little bomb doing all this. All that shit don't. The manipulation, the, the manipulation tactics he used to use don't work no more. And when they manipulation tactics don't work no more. And they see you just really checking out. Then that's when they sometimes they like okay it's time to take you out of here you don't deserve to live no more <laughs> and then you got some of them just be like okay i'm just not gonna support no more i'm not gonna send you no money i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that like it's just all control tactics y'all and uh, it's just that but yeah y'all i'm done uh with this, this video i'll see y'all in the next video i'm about to um, entertain this little baby. She don't want to get out of play because she eating all the Oreos up. And come on, then she gets it all on me. This is why I can't even get cute these days. I can't wait till she's just like a little bit older so that I can actually put clothes on and get cute again. Because as soon as I try to put something on, here she come touching me with her fingers, get me all dirty. Like, look at her. <laughs> Once you get down and play, you see the other baby over there? Yeah, get down and play too. But. Yeah, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.